the pipe name could not be found. You may encounter this error when you reference a pipe in a template that has either not been imported or not been named properly. Just like components and directives, pipes must be declared or imported in an ng module. In addition, when referenced in a template, the name must match the name specified in the pipe decorator. Angular uses the name in a template to determine which pipe to execute. That means every pipe must have a name, and the name must be unique to that ng module. Let's start by taking a look at a simple reproduction and solution. Then we'll review pipes in greater detail to understand why this error occurs. In our code base, you'll notice we're referencing a pipe with the name of truncate. However, the red underline in VS Code is telling us that Angular cannot find a pipe with that name. If you don't see the error in VS Code, you might also find it in the terminal or in the browser console. In either case, the stack trace will direct you to the template file that is causing the issue. In order to fix the issue, we'll first want to verify that the pipe is available in the appropriate ng module. In this case, we're attempting to use the pipe in the app module. Because it's a custom pipe that we're developing in this project, it needs to be in the declarations for this module, just like a component or directive. Now in other cases, the pipe may be exported by a different module or exported from a third-party package, in which case you may need to import that module as opposed to adding the pipe to the declarations. At this point, we have verified that the pipe is available in the ng module, but we're still getting the error. The next piece of code to check is the pipe definition itself and specifically the name option in the pipe decorator. Notice here how the pipe name is shortened, but in the template, it's referenced as truncate. The issue can be resolved by fixing the mismatch. Either change the name referenced in the template or change the name parameter in the pipe decorator. That'll fix the issue, and it brings up a good opportunity to point out a best practice that will prevent issues like this from happening in the first place. When you create a pipe in Angular, it's conventional for the pipe name to match the file name where it's defined. Notice how the pipe name is truncate and the file name is truncate.pipe.ts. When using the Angular CLI, this best practice will be applied automatically. Now that we know how to resolve this issue, let's do a quick review of how pipes work in Angular to understand why this issue happens in the first place. The role of a pipe in Angular is to transform values in the template, and unlike regular method calls, Angular can optimize pipes. They're especially useful when you have an expression or value, like a number, that needs to be reformatted as a currency, decimal, or some other format. Angular has a handful of built-in pipes, or you can create your own from scratch. When Angular encounters the pipe character in a template expression, it uses the name of the pipe to determine which class has the function to execute. If an invalid name is provided, Angular has no way to find the corresponding function. But when it is valid, it'll match that name to the pipe class, which implements a pipe transform function. The transform function takes the value provided from the template, along with any additional arguments, then returns a new value, which is ultimately shown to the end user. Let's go ahead and recap. When you encounter the pipe name not found error, it means a pipe has been referenced in a template that has either not been imported or not been named properly. Resolve the issue by first verifying that the pipe has been imported or declared in the appropriate ng module. If the issue remains, check the pipe definition itself to verify that the name matches the name declared in the template. For additional examples and details, reference the official Angular documentation.